Steamboats. Steamboats were one of the greatest inventions for trade and transportation next to the train. Steamboats quickened trade and transportation while bringing quick and reliable trade to the west. Steamboats also had their role in the northeast where they got their first start. There were two initial inventors for the steamboat. John Fitch and James Ramsey, who had both fought for U.S. patents for the idea of the steamboat. They had two different ideas for the propulsion. Ramsey's idea was powered by direct force, like a jet engine. Fitch's idea was paddle and piston based, like what most paddle boats use today. And they both got patents for their unique designs on August 26, 1791. Four years earlier, though, in the on the Delaware River in the presence of the delegates of the Constitution Convention, Fitch demonstrated the first steam-powered vessel. Fitch later went on carrying passengers from Philadelphia to Burlington, New Jersey on his newest paddle boat. The idea of a steam-powered boat really didn't catch on until Robert Fulton, the inventor, and wealthy judge Robert Livingston, the man behind the idea, experimented with steam power. Robert Livingston was a wealthy judge in New York who wanted a faster, steam-powered river commute from his upstate New York home. All of his attempts that he had built had failed until he met Robert Fulton when he was sent to France by Thomas Jefferson. Livingston convinced Fulton to build him a steam-powered boat in 1803. This one here. After that was a success, he moved to New York and started building another one here. And in 1807, the North River Steamboat was finished constructed, and with a top speed of 4.5 miles per hour, and offered regular trips along the Hudson River daily. The biggest commercial leap for steamboats was when it was introduced to the Mississippi River. Robert Fulton and Robert Livingston's brother, Edward Livingston, saw an opportunity to bring shipping to steamboats. Together, Fulton and Livingston brought commercial success to steamboats by offering services from New Orleans to Natchez, Mississippi. Their ships could travel 8 miles per hour downstream and 3 miles per hour upstream. Their ships could carry cargoes like sugar, cotton, rice, sorghum, livestock, and even the passengers on the Mississippi. The steamboats played an important role in the growth of America because it increased trade and the speed at which the goods traveled along the river and when it got to its designated areas. This is important because America had been rapidly growing in size, and when goods can reach you faster, like when the population is growing faster, it can keep up with the growing population. Built in 1824, the George Washington, built by Henry Miller Shrev, became the fastest steamboat on the Mississippi and Ohio rivers. It could complete a journey from New Orleans to Louisville, Kentucky in 25 days. This was an amazing co accomplishment for the time. The Washington was used for transporting grains, livestock, and passengers on the Mississippi River. It also worked on the Missouri and Ohio Rivers. The speed of this boat was an amazing accomplishment because it was one of the first to utilize a dual boiler system with dual stacks instead of using just one boiler working on both pedal paddles on both sides of the ship, and on this model, it had a boiler room for each paddle on each side of the ship. There was one drawback for using steamboats. They could explode. If worked too hard, the ship's boilers could get too hot, and the water in there that it evaporates to use the steam could evaporate so fast that the boilers explode, killing lots of people, like on the Moselle and the Medora. Now imagine this is a boiler, and it's like a tube like you see on the side of a train. And inside there's these little racks and coils that get hot 
because of the fire that is underneath the boiler. Now inside there is water and these coils would get red hot literally they would become red and if the boilers worked too hard and there wasn't enough water inside and the water levels dropped then the leftover water inside could evaporate so quickly just gets excited and wants to go out and everything just explodes and the boiler explodes the entire ship and the part of the ship that doesn't explode burns and this is why steamboats, the manufacturers, they had to convince the public that they were safe to use. And once they people got over the fact that ex, that they weren't supposed to explode, they were used a, really well. For shipping and also for transportation use from getting a person from point A to point B. Steamboats were an important invention because of their role in increasing trade and transportation on the Mississippi and in the West.